This video is sponsored by Pufferfish Liver Soup. Mmm, tasty. Right then, this is the return to Benadorm Adventure. And this time I'm going with Ryan. So let's return to some of Benadorm's best lifts. Let's start off with the Twin Towers. These towers got 31 floors, except the ground floor is floor minus 4, meaning that these towers actually got 35 floors. These are two towers connected with these weird bridges every so many floors. And in these towers, there is a mystery. And this time, we're going to go and resolve this mystery, because this tower has got three secret floors, which are floor T1, which is located between floors 0 and 2. Then there's floor T2, located between floors 8 and 10, and T3, located between floors 17 and 19. And these are the proper ones with a nice big chassis, none of that modern day rubbish shit Gen 2 stuff. This is a really nice, well built Otis 2000. Let's now drive down to the first secret floor, which is floor T3, located between floors 17 and 19. And now we arrive at the secret floor T3, and notice it's got a swing door. Now there's nothing else about this lift that would suggest in any way there's any swing doors present, so that was quite a surprise for us. Let's open up the door and find out what is on this secret floor. And it is an empty space in the tower. This entire floor is empty, and notice that this floor has got a low ceiling, which is why they had to use a swing door rather than a regular door. Now this secret floor was designed to have plant equipment in it, but considering this tower is residential, they just don't need that much plant equipment. If it was a commercial tower, this floor would probably be full of stuff, but it's only a residential tower, meaning this floor is left empty, and they can't convert this floor into an apartment, since the ceiling is too low. Oh, this is interesting. So, can I do picture? Where the ceiling is. And this floor really reminds me of one of the skyscrapers on my adventure in Hong Kong and Shenzhen, as on one of the skyscrapers I managed to get into a very similar secret floor. Let's have a reminder of it. Then back to Benidorm, let's now go back to the lift and go down to the next secret floor. Oh, Which is floor T2, located between floors 8 and 10. Here's we opened up the swing door in the shaft to discover the floor is actually very similar. Another empty bit of space in the tower. Same, same as the other one. So then the other thing interesting about these twin towers is the bridges between the two towers. This is a very interesting design of architecture. Sadly we weren't able to get onto any of the bridges this time, but let's have a reminder of what these bridges look like from a previous adventure. Then, now we go along to one of Benidorm's classic shaftless lifts. Benidorm has loads of his shaftless lifts. This particular one I went on on my first adventure to Benidorm quite a few years ago. And this one stood out as it's the only shaftless lift in Benidorm that doesn't have a full rain shield. You can actually access the inspection control without having to lift up any flaps. However, the weirdest thing is, the inspection control is not waterproof. So when it rains, uh, that's a bit worrying. Anyway, let's start off by taking a right in the lift. So it actually is over here, that's a Rona area. No, see, the thing is, it looks so Rona like, but they put an Omega logo right there. But I think it is an Rona, Omega's just installed. This building goes up 27 floors.
that one and that one are a set, that one isn't. The camera in it now, it didn't used to be here. Yeah. That's not even real. Oh, that's different logic because that's flushing, that's different to the others. And let's take a look on top of it. When I opened up the lift doors, loads of pigeons flew off. Benadorm has got lift surfing pigeons. I was not expecting that. Now looking at a car top, I do find it odd it doesn't have a complete rain shield. It's kind of nice you can access the controls without having to lift up any flaps. But just take a look at the inspection control. Not only is it not waterproof, but when you try and pull the stop button out, the whole panel lifts up and it's outdoors. That is not good. It's meant to be waterproof, right? It's a shaft let's look at. But it's not fucking waterproof. Anyway, let's take a ride on top of it. Oh, the pigeons are surfing at. It's pigeons surfing, so okay. This fuck is thing. Look at all these lift-sucking pigeons are pooed all over it. Benidorm is also a popular spot for unauthorised base jumps. So here's a video of some people doing a base jump from the identical building next door to one I just did, which has the exact same lift setup. So now we go along to Grand Hotel Bali, a very tall hotel which has got some generic lifts which I believe are Thames Valleys. Every time I go to Benidorm I have to have a ride of these lifts because they are so nice. However, because they've got two to one cabling it's nothing really to hold on to on top of these lifts and they're very exposed to the elements making it quite dodgy to go on top of it. Doors closing. La puerta se está It's like we're back in England. Yeah. Whee! That two? Is that 2.5? No, that two. <laughs> they don't keep them in good enough condition. They are exposed to the elements. So they have to look after them. That building we're in just now looks small, but the person does. That's definitely 10 so early, said it's so early. So now for my Benidorm tradition of going on top of this lift. The tallest shaftless lift I know of. Also, just like the previous building I filmed, Grand Hotel Bali is also very popular with unauthorised base jumpers. Yes, buddy. Woo. Now another interesting thing about Grand Hotel Bali is it's got loads of different shapes of lift as well as having shaftless lifts, regular square lifts, circle lifts which I've already filmed. It's also got a triangle shaped lift. What? Let's have a look at it. It's triangle. <laughs> triangle lift. It's a telescopic hydraulic. That is weird. I like it because I like weird stuff. Slow leveling. It's a weird, weird lift. A weird ever better. The swimming pool is freezing. For some way as posh as this, sitting at that posh, and the pool is freezing. That's just not very good. So welcome to the hotel of different shaped lifts. We're now on the circle one. So you've got a square shaft, this triangle, and circle. <laughs> Thank you. 
use an acceleration. I like it when the mechanism's all custom on these servers. And now we go to the next building. This is a 24 floor building which has got some very strange lifts. Odds, evens, all floors. Now while the room is refurbished the lifts, the logic is still original and it's a very bizarre logic. These three lifts have their logic shared between two different logic cabinets. It's so strange. Three motors, two logic cabinets. Are you ready for a surprise? Do you want to see what's in the big fucking cabinet? Da, da, da. Three, look at that. Three logics in one cabinet. Three VFs, the middle one's bigger for some reason. Three inspection controls. I remember this one, I did this one last time. It's so fucking strange. I like it because it's so weird. There's yeah, three Nicolex and PLCs. This is the weirdest shit I've seen. Those two have been replaced, that one hasn't. That is coming up to the top. Whee! Oh, it's older now. Let's take a look at the rooftop. That's your proper Benidorm view. And now let's take a ride on top of one of the lifts. Whee! Corona lift. And now we go to the next hotel. This one's got Schindler 3300s with destination dispatch. To be honest, I'm quite surprised that Schindler even offer 3300 lower grade of lift with destination dispatch. I would have thought it'd be reserved for all higher models, but here it is. That's a good sound effect for a lift. <laughs> Floor up. And now let's take a look at the rooftop. First thing, so Dun dun. First thing, so First thing, so would you like a tea bath? <laughs> this is on top of the lift, it's ready to make a cup of tea. And now let's go to the swimming pool. And while most of the pools in Bendorm are freezing cold, this one is really nice. It's a really posh pool, water's warm and it looks perfect. So let's go for a swim. Sadly I couldn't get any underwater footage in the swimming pool, so my case for my fake GoPro camera is broken, which is very annoying. we go to a glass Schindler 3300. On this lift you can virtually stop the lift just by putting a key into the slot without even turning it. So safety is only barely connected to this lift and it's very easy to dislodge. This needs fixing. Yeah, you can barely even turn it. You didn't even turn it? You didn't even turn it? You turn it, just put the key in and push it. Oh that shakes. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't turn the key, I just pushed it. <laughs> I just pushed the triangle, I didn't turn it. Call it a fight. That'll be your next most popular video.
Oh. If pigeon fight is popular, call it a fight, it can be popular as well. <laughs> Let's get pigeon fight with you. And in McDonald's, there is a decorative picture of the different towers of Benidorm. And then I suddenly realised this is a compilation of my lift surfing achievements. Look at all these towers. Sadly, I've not managed to surf the Golden Arch Tower, but most of the other ones here I have. Oh, such as Tower 42, that's a nice one. Oh, then you've got the Hat Tower, you've got the Twin Towers, which you see in this video. Oh, yes, the McDonald's mural of lift surfs. And now we go to the Benidorm Hotel, which had the Schindler Eurolifts. These have now been replaced by a Rona. Let's take a look at this lift replacement. It's safety for time. Yeah, that's a change motor. It's not going to close. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Push the alarm button. Push the alarm button. Out of order. What? <laughs> they always do that. It's a Rona. Third floor. You can go now, while the main lifts have been fully replaced by Arona, the service lifts are a bit different as these are Schindler Euro lifts which have been modernised by Arona and it's quite a bizarre mod. So an Arona button and a Schindler display. <laughs> That's a bit weird. Schindler logic camera as well. That's Schindler. It's got a Rona button, but that's still Schindler. No possible. He's a Rona. Schindler, no. Schindler, not anymore. Look, that's Schindler, and they've put the Rona Ravo in. What? Close button like something, you press that. It's like a close button. Can't stand on top, shouldn't it? 4400 work or 4400, 5400 of a week a cab. Yep, and look at my. This hotel also features a circular Arona shaftless lift. That's the first shaftless circle lift of Belladon. Look, I've seen some circles, but that's a shaftless circle. Now we go to Benidorm's fifth tallest tower. Considering this is a tall tower, you would have thought it would have a good lift, but no, this has got 39 floors of DMG. It's a very cheap Spanish generic, and oh my, how could they put such a crap lift into such a tall building? 39 floors of DMG. <laughs> See, that's to be the tallest shit lift, I know. How on earth do you have this thing? Is there even an indicator? No. Fuck yeah! Oh, there's an indicator, it's really not well lit. <laughs> oh, well, how could someone cope with this? I should only get every day up to your 30 night floor apartment in this trundling little thing wobbling its way up the shaft. Floor 39. You're very slow levelling as always. Oh, let's head change the zero buttons, let's press more on any other button.
And now we go along to the Flamingo Hotel. This is a really nice hotel so it's got really good theming. They've made it look very nice. This hotel features a small shaftless lift in the atrium. Two, two doesn't exist. There is no two. Floor two does not exist. We're going to have a run now. Oh, we're going to crash. We're going to crash. No, I can't really not. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you wanted it to crash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a tennis court. One of the most useless things to have in a hotel. Floor two does not exist. Oh, that's stuck slowly. Yeah, that's going to be going down, I guess. Breaks. The main lifts are some older Rona lifts that have been modernised by a Rona. Set of six and Rona's. But for Rona lovers, you've got plenty of them. No. Oh no, 25 I'm sure wasn't locked last time. This is the rooftop bar. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm not sure if I would surf this. Oh, if it up and see all the people on the rooftop. Oh, I could see everyone, we'll just get off this lift. <laughs> oh, I've done that, people believe it as well when you say that. And the service lift is an older Arona lift. Faster than the main system. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Slightly. Uh. Uh. The rooftop at Flamingo Hotel. We sleep here, it's got beds. There's no one about up here. There's a rooftop pool. I bet that's going to be absolutely freezing. I bet they don't heat that. Although they've got solar panels up there, but I bet they don't heat it. A lot of blue effect. Okay. Didn't stop at violent actually. That's gentler than I thought for a new one. Maybe it's still an old motor. Thank <laughs> you. 